Shows or movies like The Walking Dead, Zombieland, or Shaun of the Dead have people believing that a zombie apocalypse will occur, which is quite terrifying. And if it happens, I'll be on a boat in the middle of the ocean because zombies can't swim. Right? Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 diseases with zombie-like symptoms. Starting off this countdown, we have the Kotar Delusion, otherwise known as the Walking Corpse Syndrome. Now, this one isn't technically considered a disease. It is a condition in which an individual believes that they are dead, or that they are dying, or that they have lost their organs. This may result in them not eating or drinking or not taking care of their personal hygiene. They may start to experience delusions, start lacking personality or emotions. People don't know how this condition came about, however it is said that it mainly affects people suffering from neurological conditions such as brain infections, brain tumors, or brain injuries. In fact, one case of a woman that had this syndrome claimed that she was dead, smelled of rotting flesh, and she wanted to go to the morgue to be with the dead. In this case, they technically convinced themselves that they are the walking dead. In our next spot at number 9, we have scurvy. Now, before we begin with this next one, why don't you all go grab a piece of fruit, like an orange. So scurvy is a result of a severe vitamin C deficiency. When people hear scurvy, they often associate it with pirates, since sailors would often develop it after being out at sea for months without fruits or vegetables. However, scurvy still affects individuals today. Symptoms might start off minor, like experiencing fatigue or nausea, but eventually you might experience delirium, hemorrhaging in the whites of the eyes, bulging eyes, and severe jaundice which turns your skin and eyes yellow. Other symptoms include severe tooth decay and bleeding gums, open oozing sores, scaly dry brownish skin, bruises all over the body, dry hair that breaks easily, and swelling all over the arms and legs. All of these could literally make anyone look like a real life zombie. So. How you doing? Still eating that orange? Moving on to number 8, we have Yaws. Yaws is an infectious disease caused by a bacterium called spirochete. This disease can cause severe effects to an individual's skin and bones. The first symptoms that appear are a couple of sores on the body. Then it can lead to swelling on the bones and joints. During this stage, you may also develop a rash that forms a brown crust. And if you reach the worst stage, it can cause facial swelling and disfiguration. In our seventh spot, we have the mad cow disease. Mad cow disease is a very deadly brain disease caused by an infectious protein called a prion. These prions end up accumulating in the brain and can cause damage to nerve cells. It not only affects cows, but also humans. One of the ways humans can get mad cow disease is from eating meat from infected cows. But humans can also get it from a brain protein changing abnormally and turning into a prion. Mad cow disease causes rapid mental brain deterioration. Some symptoms in humans include changes in personality, hallucinations, loss of balance, jerking movements, and slurred speech. Making our way down the list at number 6, we have rabies. Rabies is a disease transmitted from infected animals to humans through their saliva if they bite you. Rabies affects an individual's nervous system which can lead to severe brain damage. Animals with rabies may appear to be more aggressive. As a result, they may try to attack and bite their fellow species or humans. When humans are infected with rabies, it can cause full or partial paralysis, delirium, mania, and problems thinking and communicating. Meaning, they may just lash out and attack another person. Like a zombie. Individuals also have difficulty walking, giving them that slow zombie-like shuffle. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with gangrene. Alright, so this one is not considered a disease, but other diseases can lead to gangrene, which has several zombie-like symptoms. So gangrene is what happens as a result of body tissue dying. Maybe from a lack of blood flow to a specific spot, or from an infection. It is most common in your fingers and toes, but in more severe cases, you can get it on bigger muscles and limbs. Gangrene can cause an individual to have damaged pale, blue, purple, black, or red skin. It may also cause their skin to feel cold to one's touch. Other symptoms include confusion and bad odor being emitted from the open sores. Now, there are several types of gangrene such as dry, wet, and gas gangrene. Dry gangrene causes an individual to develop dry, shriveled, brownish purple skin. Wet gangrene causes the skin to appear more wet with its swelling and blistering. Gas gangrene may cause your skin to become a pale grayish color, then your skin may bubble or crack. Moving on at number 4 we have the zombie ant disease. This one is actually crazy. It is caused by a fungus called Ophiocordyceps. 
Basically, this fungus finds its way into an ant and completely hijacks its body and brain. From there, the ant has no control. It's basically dead, but in a weird way, it's not. The fungus is just the one in charge. So the fungus forces the ant to clamp down onto a leaf or twig. From there, it dies and a spore-like stalk grows out of the ant's back. This allows the fungus to infect other ants. In fact, the fungus that affects the people in the game The Last of Us was inspired by this zombie ant disease. In the game, a fungus similar to this infects the human race. Now, scientists are concerned that it will somehow find its way to infect humans. If that's the case, then it would be quite scary and may just turn us into versions of zombies. In our third spot, we have Kuru. Kuru is a nervous system disease that can cause severe physical and neurological effects. Now, the origin of this disease is quite zombie like. It is said that you can get Kuru as a result of eating contaminated human brain tissue meaning people were eating other humans, which resulted in them getting these zombie-like symptoms. Some of the symptoms include severe twitching, difficulty walking, involuntary movements, and loss of muscle coordination. People with this disease might also be unresponsive to their surroundings, might develop an inability to speak and laugh or cry uncontrollably. In our second spot, we have flesh-eating disease otherwise known as necrotizing fasciitis. And the disease is as scary as it sounds. Flesh eating disease is a severe and fast spreading bacterial infection. Now it is pretty rare to get, but if you do, it is very deadly. Basically, this deadly bacteria can enter your body through multiple ways. It can enter during a surgery or injury, childbirth, insect bites, or blisters, cuts, and scrapes. Or even from a puncture wound like meal injections or from giving blood. So everyone has a bacteria called group A strep that is on their outer layer of the skin. It's completely harmless on the outside, however, if it gets on the inside from a wound, that's when it can cause necrotizing fasciitis. Once it's in your body, the bacteria can quickly start spreading, releasing destructive toxins. This ends up destroying your skin, fat, and muscles, making its way into your bloodstream. If you Google pictures of people with this disease, then you will see it causes them to lose chunks of their skin, or they'll have exposed bone, huge deep open sores, or even I saw one picture showing that it destroyed an entire half of a person's face. As a result of this disease, you may need to get parts of your body amputated to stop the spread. And in our number one spot, we have the zombie deer disease. The zombie deer disease is said to be on the rise. This is a deadly nervous system disease that can infect the brains of deer, elk, reindeer, and moose. This disease ends up eating away at the animal's brains, leaving their brains looking like Swiss cheese. As their brain begins to be destroyed, it causes a variety of symptoms in the animals, such as hallucinations, difficulty walking, and disorientation. It may also cause the animals to shake, lose weight, and may cause their head or ears to droop. This all gives them that zombie-like appearance. In fact, there are some pretty terrifying pictures of deers with like glassy white eyes and half of their face missing, exposing their brain. Turns out, humans may be at risk for being infected by this disease also. Scientists believe that it can make its way to humans. In fact, a recent study done in a petri dish showed that human cells were infected by this disease. The most at risk are hunters if they end up eating the contaminated meat. So be careful if that's your game, pun intended. And that's all I have for you for today. Let's move on to our comment shout outs. I'll be shouting out comments from my video, Top 10 Scary Dora the Explorer Theories Part 2. Gavin Sudarth commented, does the Miss Ivan ever not wear a ponytail? Just curious. There you go. The Miss Ivan, as if I'm like a creature, like the Miss Ivan. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Like, I don't know. But yes, and I also, in other videos, I have my hair down and stuff, so. Obviously you didn't watch those videos. Naito GZ commented, Hey Lindsay, can I get a hi? Keep up the good work. Hi, hey, hello, what's up? There you go. Bradley Fortune commented, I really love your eyebrows. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Head Me commented, She kind of looks like the girl from Tall Girl. Not Dora, but the narrator. Glad you clarified who looks like her, because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have guessed that Dora versus. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today. Make sure you comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. And severe ja jaundice. And severe ja jaundice. And severe, and severe jaundice, which turns your skin and yet, oh. And severe jaundice, which, jaundice and severe jaundice with turn, oh my God.
and severe jaundice, which turned, oh my god. It is said that you can get, why I wanna go cure, but it's not, it's cur. Damn it. Kuru, 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 kuru. Kangaroo, kuru. <laughs> it is said that you can get kuru, yeah, kuru. Thank you.